We're here at the conference in Vienna speaking to Paul Reed, who is with the Receptifarm organization, and you have a natural product that you're running through uh, the, the, uh, the rigor of research. You're looking to develop some trials to prove its usefulness. Yes. Can you describe that to, to us? Uh, we're developing a product called Pepteron. Uh, it is uh, unusually, it's a derivative of cobra venom mm -hmm. uh, that displays uh, broad spectrum antiviral activity mm -hmm. because it just stimulates the immune system to fight viral infections. Mm -hmm. And this product is not harmful in and of itself? It doesn't have side effects? We have done uh, full toxicity testing, two year chronic tox in rats and dogs, which was one of the old style uh, requirements for regulatory mm -hmm. approvals. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there were absolutely no problems with that. We've initiated mm -hmm. uh, two phase one clinical trials. There were no problems in that situation either. The drug was very well tolerated and there were no side effects. And what gives you the, in, in, the indication that there is some uh, antiviral benefit to this? Well, how did you come upon that? Well, originally it was being developed as a treatment for polio in the 1950s. Uh, with the advent of the vaccine, there was no need for a therapy. The vaccine was extremely effective, obviously now that polio is almost eliminated from, from the planet. Mm -hmm. um, and we saw that this was a, a very interesting strategy for uh, having a, a broad antiviral uh, effect. Uh, it had an excellent safety profile. And we thought it was worthwhile proving it against HIV, for which there were no satisfactory options at the time we started. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, while ret antiretroviral drugs have been having uh, great success, they're now having a problem with uh, drug resistance. Mm -hmm. um, and so we discussed. So, what would re resistance look like in this? Would you know? Or? Uh, we have not seen any resistance. We have tested the drug against uh, uh, multiply resistant strains of HIV mm -hmm. from, from clinical isolates, and we found that it, it does not differentiate from an inhibitory factor from wild type virus. It doesn't matter what the, the mutation is because essentially the mechanism is, does not involve attacking the virus like you do with regular uh, antiretroviral drugs. Mm -hmm. And so therefore there's no forced mutation. Essentially the drug tells the cell do not let the virus in to replicate. Mm -hmm. And therefore you don't get mutations. And there's nothing else that this is inhibiting? It doesn't inhibit any other natural actions? No, it's, it's uh, again, it has an excellent safety profile. It essentially will stimulate uh, people's ability to fight infection, specifically viruses. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has no adverse effects, or has seen no adverse effects in, in clinical application in, in mm -hmm. people um, who've been using it for, for periods of years. Now we normally use the, the parameters of a log drops and over a certain period of time and through administration and certain doses and so forth. Are you following that kind of criteria when, when you move through this? Yeah, we, an we anticipate, uh, we're hoping to uh, initiate clinical trials early next year. We have not yet initiated studies in uh, patient mm -hmm. populations with HIV. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're looking at possibly a population that uh, may not be responding well to therapy. So we may be looking at either salvage or, or, or an alternative way of treating uh, someone's condition who's not responding to standard anti mm -hmm. antiretroviral therapy. Um, and we'd be looking to follow the same type of course of response. Though because our mechanism is a, is a biological response, we probably would not see a 90% or a one log reduction in the same time period as they would see with mm -hmm. current drugs. Mm -hmm. Because we're relying on, on the immune system to react against the virus, we expect it will probably take a bit longer to see that mm -hmm. effect. Mm -hmm. So, you, but you would still classify this antiviral or would you consider it as an immunological approach? It's, it's actually um, come under the guise of, of probably immune activation, immune hyperactivation. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's not a directed antiviral agent. So uh, it, we, it's seen, we've seen benefits uh, of the drug against viruses like uh, herpes viruses as well. Mm -hmm. So there's an advantage that not only if, if it works against HIV, that if there are concurrent, H, uh, sorry, uh, concurrent viral infections, mm -hmm. that there might be some benefit there too. So it offers a, a simple, a, probably a simplified method of treating these type of diseases. Okay, so your next steps are to move it into uh, so maybe a pilot study first, would you think, or not? Well, we'll probably go into a phase, a phase two uh, clinical mm -hmm. study. We're, we're hoping to get that initiated probably in Europe. Uh, mm -hmm. Italy, Italy looks like a good ca uh, candidate country for us to deal with. We've got some investigators who would have an interest in doing it there. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'd probably look at uh, maybe 50 to 60 subjects uh, and mm -hmm. see how we get on. Okay, great. 
Well, I'm uh, wishing you luck because, of course, uh, we always can use something else in the arsenal to prevent people from using treatment earlier. I think that's the unfortunate thing. I think now the paradigm is to actually use antiviral treatment earlier. Right, but, exactly. But still, if, if we can avoid some of it, that would be a help. Uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity and, and of course naturally we'll explore whether or not it works concurrently with other therapies. Yeah, and, that would be important to affect, to know. Yeah, to, to affect the best drug, optimal Drug-drug interactions, you yes. may want to do that right away and find out what, uh, what kind of... And put the patient first, you know, yeah. to make yeah. sure that they get the best chance of, of getting control of these diseases. Right, exactly. All right, well thank you very much for your input. Thank you very much for your and, time. And uh, keep, keep us up to date on what's going on. Absolutely. We'll